wanted to show you hopefully by the end of this 10 day trip to Rome we would have done everything inside this red metro line to the river Tiber and covered all that area there it doesn't look much but we've worked it out and I don't know probably walked 50 60 miles at least um, so much to see in our own Rome every street you turn down there's something else that you didn't expect another piazza or another church with amazing things inside and the stature of the place if you do come here make sure you've got strong feet and strong footwear because you're going to walk some miles and obviously we're here in may and the temperatures are about 28 29 and it is energy sapping but we're sticking to it we keep on going like true romans they wouldn't have given up in a day so we can't give up now and we've walked miles to see all these sites because we're only going to be here once and we're really enjoying it but it is a hard you know the museums you think are just like in in this country perhaps if you go around longleat house or montacute house or something it takes you a couple hours four or five hours plus for some of these museums endless photographs and too much to take in to be honest i'm not sure what half the statues and the bust heads we've seen are really but the one real defining thing is that the romans love nudity and most of the men as you see with some of these pictures carved in marble minus the bell end i don't know whether it fell off in excavation when they archaeologists have found it or what but nice pair of balls and a scrotum sack but obviously no helmet apart from on that dying ghoul who had a fair sized widget he really did have a bit of a bell jar on him but you know fantastic from the Colosseum to the Forum to Palatine Hill Circus Maximus Capeline Museums we've done today Piazza Viziana however you say it Tomorrow we're going to Spanish Steps and Piazza del Popolo. We've got Piazza Nirvana, Nirvana to do yet, and the Pantheon. Like I said, we've done the Vatican with the Pope, Pope Francesco, and um, lots of other things. Probably the best has been the Colosseum, just because of what it stands for and what it was really, the Colosseum. Awe-inspiring place, and we can see it from our hotel, which is great and it's like it's been the centerpiece of the holiday really we've passed it most days given it a little wave given it a little kiss become part of the the holiday which is the coliseum which is fantastic place it's got a real aura about it the coliseum plenty of people died there plenty of people spilt their blood on the sands and perhaps that's where the aura comes from but yeah okay Speak to you soon, dudes. Morning, Monday morning, and we are at the Piazza de Spagna, or Spanish Steps as it's known, and it's awash with tourists from all over the world, Yanks, Asian, English, like myself, and here is the Spanish Steps. Don't know how many steps it is, but obviously, we're gonna walk up them already 26 degrees here and it's only just gone nine o'clock nearly ten o'clock we haven't caught any buses anywhere for eight this holiday we've walked everywhere it's all pretty close it's taken us about 30 minutes to get here this morning fairly straight roads nice and easy strollings selfie sticks are out in abundance as you can see a little bit of water clear water lots and lots of tourists everywhere trying to sell you a load of crap you also got gypsies and hobos trying to beg for your last penny this is the spanish steps with all the posh shops you've got gucci prada dior i won't be spending any money here because i can't afford all that unless this video goes viral which is very unlikely 132 steps later and we're at the top of the Spanish steps and that's the view and we've got some gladiator dressed up there as you can see trying to 
bit challenged us for a fight on the sands. We said, not today mate, we don't want to depart your head from your neck. 